What's up everybody, welcome back to Casual Land. Today, we are going to look at the skills and the skills level in Roblox Islands. The first one is farming. Most of you will have this EXP bar filling very quickly. As long as you have an auto farm, the EXP bar will fill up automatically. If you just started out and do not have an auto farm, then you have to do your farming manually, which is very troublesome. As you progress in your level, you can buy more types of seeds and crops and all the things related to the crops. You can get food totems for auto farms too. Unlocking the totems are really important. The best way to gain EXP will still be auto farm as the process is automatic. The rewards end at level 52 for now. Wood cutting, self-explanatory. The more trees you chop down, the more EXP you have. Different trees come with different amount of EXP. Hickory trees have a lot of HP but gives a lot of EXP. Avocado trees give less but has a lot less HP. So you can decide which one you want to chop. As you level up, you can purchase more types of saplings and axes. If you just started out, then you only have the normal saplings to chop. You can buy more of it to chop so that you can earn EXP faster. Yeah sure, different types of tree give different types of EXP and there may even be one tree that is the fastest way to level up. I suggest that you chop all kind of trees as you will need the different types of wood later on. The current rewards stop at level 24. Mining is really important. As you level up, you can craft more types of pickaxe. But the important ones are the totems. You need the stone totems for bricks. You need the coal totem as a source of fuel. The coal totem is very very important. Iron totem is your source of iron ingot, which is a required material for many of the items. Using totems as part of your auto farm will not help in gaining the mining EXP. You have to actually pick the ores. Stone gives the least EXP. As you pick more valuable ores, the EXP increases. You have to actually break the ores to gain the EXP. Simply hitting them will not gain you any EXP. So when I break the ore once, I get the EXP. When I break it fully, I earn the EXP again. So put it this way, as long as the loot drops, you get the EXP. If you are a veteran, picking any ore is fine since you have lots of ores. But if you are just starting out, you might want to break more of the iron ores because you will need quite a bit of iron ingots later anyway. The current level for the last reward is level 65. Economy is all about trading stuff, the mechanism that broke the game. You need to be level 30 on this skill to make any transactions with players and you need level 60 to craft the vending machine. Very important if you want to trade as your primary gameplay. You cannot even interact with your own vending machine if your level is not sufficient. So how do you gain EXP then? You can gain EXP by selling your food or crop to the NPCs in the hub. Different items will give you different amount of EXP. The current level for the last reward is 60. Animal husbandry is all about animals, their products and their related items. As you level up, you can start to buy cow eggs, sheep eggs, and other materials. I already showed a baby cow in the previous video, so I will show the sheep this time round. So how do you gain EXP for animal husbandry? You can pet your cow or sheep and feed them to earn your EXP. You can also milk the cow to gain EXP, and whether you are a veteran or someone who have just started out, you should be able to do this as you can get a cow easily. You can also get EXP by capturing fireflies. Bees will not give you any EXP. However, you can harvest the honeycomb from the beehives. Anything to do with animals will give you the animal husbandry EXP. Let's buy a sheep spawn egg. Let's spawn a sheep here. You can pet and feed the baby sheep. Let's see what's the favorite food of the baby sheep. 
Ah, carrot, great. So you can see that the baby sheep has no wool on it. It needs to be fully grown to produce wool. You can get wools from the sheep. You can make hay beds. You can make shears. And I believe you can make wools and other animal products at later levels. So this is a fully grown sheep. There is wool on it. I will use the shears to get the wool. There is a cooldown before the wool grows back, probably in an in-game day. The current level for the last reward is 95. Wow, that is kinda high considering the maximum level is only 99. Forging is all about machines, conveyors, smelters, industrial washers, industrial stone cutters, food processors, industrial oven, industrial sawmill, copper press, steel press, drill, etc. Yeah, you get what type of equipment that will give you the forging EXP. This skill is very important because many of the older farms requires the machines. Smelters, industrial washers, conveyor belts, and industrial chests are especially important. If you are a veteran player, you will not have problems with this skill because your auto farm will gain EXP automatically. If you are just starting out, you can get a campfire first. If you are okay with farming, get a steel mill and an iron totem. Let the steel mill earn that EXP for you. As I have a lot of machines working, I cannot tell you exactly if the steel mill gives you the EXP, but I'm pretty sure it gives the EXP. Steel mill only requires iron and gold ingots, which are pretty easy to get, but just a little time consuming. I don't think I need to explain why unlocking the stuff in forging skills are so important. Most of them are related to some form of automation. The current level for the last reward is 62. Fishing is self-explanatory. The more you fish, the more EXP you get. Different fish give different amount of EXP. You cannot really control what kind of fish you can get, so the best way is to just keep fishing. The current level for the last reward is 25. As you level up, I guess you can sell the more expensive fishes to the fishermen. Not very important for now, I have better ways to earn money. But I have to say, fishing was the best way for me to earn money to buy seeds when I just started out for this game. And I mean really just started out, like day one. Cooking can gain EXP by cooking. Captain obvious, right? You can use the industrial oven to cook. If you just started out, you can cook manually, but it is very time consuming. Industrial oven is not hard to get, so I suggest you get that quickly. You can also gain EXP by crafting food. If you are just starting out, use wheat to craft those dough does not have any level requirement. Cook the dough and earn the EXP again. A veteran with lots of resources, gaining EXP is not a problem. Just mass craft the food and mass cook your food. As you level up your cooking skills, you can craft more types of food. Good for earning money in mid-game when you sell your food to the baker. The current level for the last reward is 65. You can get combat EXP just by fighting. So you can get the EXP for combat even if you just started out. You have to actually kill the mob to earn the EXP. You will not earn the EXP by just hitting them. Different mobs give different EXP. Higher level mobs give more XP. But since the introduction of the new leveling system, all of us have to start from killing slimes first. So whether you are a veteran or newbie, get out there and kill slime. As you level up, you get the access to more islands, face different mobs, and get different loots. Like melee XP requires you to kill mobs with like weapons like Cactus Sword, Ridge Blade, Cutlass, Aquamarine Sword, and all other types of sword. You have to actually kill the mobs with the light weapons to earn the EXP. You will not earn any EXP just by hitting them. Different weapons will give the same EXP, but different mobs will give you different EXP. Higher level mobs will give you more EXP. When you 
hit level 12, you get the Iron War X recipe. Not exactly important, since there are much better light weapons with greater damage that are easy to get. Heavy melee XP requires you to kill mobs with the heavy gilded steel hammer. You have to actually kill the mobs with the heavy weapon to earn the EXP. You will not earn any XP just by hitting them. Different weapons will give you the same XP, but different mobs will give you different XP. Higher level mobs will give more XP. When you get to level 32, you unlock the Gilded Steel Hammer. For this category, there are not many heavy melee weapons, but there are better weapons like Spellbooks, Rage Blade, or even Cactus Spike. Archery XP requires you to kill mobs with bow and arrows. You have to actually kill the mobs with the bow and arrows to earn the EXP. You will not earn any XP just by hitting them. Different weapons will give you the same XP, but different mobs will give you different XP. Higher level mobs will give you more XP. You can even use an auto clicker on scorpions. A ranged weapon will work just fine. At level 6, you unlock the recipe for the artifact bow. At level 22, you unlock the Van Bow recipe. For a start, you gotta use the basic bow or the hardened bow limb. If you already have the Van Bow, just use it then. Magic XP requires you to kill mobs with Spellbook. You have to actually kill the mobs with the Spellbook to earn the XP. You will not earn any XP just by hitting them. Different Spellbooks will give you the same XP, but different mobs will give you the different XP. Higher level mobs will give you more XP. You can kill wizards or scorpions. Same strategy as the bow and arrows. Now the combat skills and all the weapon skills work like mining. You only get the EXP when you actually kill the mob and get the loot. This skill has almost no reward, but if you do not have a spell book, it is really recommended to get one. Decent range and great damage. You can either buy it or farm for it yourself. The spell book requires the red page, green page, and the blue page. They all drop from the wizards. Now for a new player, you get EXP for farming cooking, economy, all at the same time. You grow the weeds as the seeds are very cheap. Harvest the weeds and turn them into doughs. Cook the doughs and make them into loaves of bread. Then sell it to the baker. I also realized that the Vambo blueprints no longer need to be hunted. You can get them from leveling up your archery skill. I hope that more weapon blueprints are gotten this way and not having loots that have less than 1% chance of dropping. With this new leveling system, new players will actually find it quite difficult to progress up the ladder. Items that are already on are kept, so veterans have an edge over new players. As they do not have resources at the start, their pace will be much slower and grindier. For example, veteran players can use the guild pickaxe that they already own while new players use stone pickaxe. Although the veteran player have not unlocked the recipe for the gilded pickaxe because of the level requirement, they pick ores faster. Similarly, veterans who have large farm and a lot of resources can do mass farming, mass crafting, and mass cooking. This will level up the veteran players really quickly. New players will have to start out with cooking, crafting, or harvesting a few food or crops at once. Now I'm not complaining for either side, but I am trying to point out that veterans have a clear advantage. And I have no problem with it because veterans have already played for hundreds or even thousands of hours before getting here. New players will just have a much harder time. XP also comes with a 4 times daily boost. There is a limit of how much boost that is available per day depending on your level. So for example, if there is a daily boost limit of 10,000 XP, the related activities that you do will have a 4 time boost until the 10,000 limit is reached. Thereafter, you will not get any boost for performing any activities. The daily boost is daily in real life. Previously, there seems to be a bug or glitch where the boost limit resets itself after a cooldown on the same day, but it seems to be gone now. Mobs will no longer drop any island keys as you only level up to gain access to islands. As you can see, the island keys are not being used up as I step into the portal into another island.
So that's it for today's video on the new leveling system in Roblox Islands. What do you think of the new system? Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already so that you can catch me in the next video. Bye!